What's up, everybody? Welcome in. It's another episode of Back to the Beach with Kristen and Steven. I'm Steven Coletti. I'm Kristen Cavallari. And today is a very special episode. Let's get right to it. We are looking at the hasn't aged a day. Literally. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Jessica. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's so good to see you. We were just saying we haven't seen each other in 18 years, which is insane. So I am, I mean, we're both so excited to have you on. We've been talking about you for a very long time now. And so this is going to be a really fun episode. Episode 14 of season two. It is the end of the beginning. It originally aired on October 24th, 2005 and described to you as the follows. Oh my time has finally come for the gang to graduate high school and leave their LB bubble. Mixed emotions run high and tears start a roll. And so Jessica, I'm going to start with you. <laughs> Did you cry watching this episode? Um, I did a little bit, Aww. actually. Especially 17 years later, I was like, you know when you're in it, you don't realize it so much. And then I have not watched an episode since they first aired. Seems to be the trend. And so yeah. going back and watching it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there were some questionable moments. So <laughs> going back and watching it and it being such a happy, good episode, I did. I teared up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I, I joined you there when we watched uh, season one's graduation episode. I found this. Oh yeah, this is why this is why we did the show. This is the episode I can go back and watch because up to that point, right. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be at least another eighteen years <laughs> until I watch those other episodes. We, had we did growth. all of that for one episode, the graduation <laughs> yeah. episode. Right. <laughs> totally worth it, folks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Kristen. Yeah, I, I definitely had tears in my eyes. I mean, we all know I'm a stone cold bitch. So that was, I was a big, say, the a white big walker. Deal. You had tears in your eyes. It, this it, is got me, it got me. Yeah, it was an emotional episode. I mean, I remember Aww. when we watched season one and you were talking about it. It's it's moments like that. It was like prom and graduation that it's so cool to have those moments shot in such a beautiful way, shot like a movie and to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, to go back and relive it. It's pretty special. It does make it all worth it, I will say. So, yeah, it was a it was a good episode. Yeah. And did you see, uh, Jessica, did you notice some of the things in your room from back in the day? Because there was some stuff on the walls, I... like some of the ceramic pieces that you made. <laughs> there, I think there was some I actually took a picture. I got to look them up. <laughs> And then no. I think you had some horse figurines of some sort. Is this true? <laughs> you remember this? <laughs> hey, okay. My grandpa carved those. <laughs> so I had to keep them in my I think I still have that horse actually in my closet um, just because my grandpa made it. So. Aww. <laughs> but, oh, yes. sweet. And, you know, I was really into um, ceramic class in high school. So weren't we I, all the I, easy A? <laughs> we all have those placards <laughs> exactly. where it's like, you, you heard said destiny, you had dreamers, serenity. Oh. So did any of them, are they still it. around <laughs> or have, have we put them in a box? No. Okay. They are, I don't think they're even in a box and I, I don't have gather or live, love, laugh or whatever <laughs> in the house either, even to this day. So <laughs> is your mom still in that house in Laguna? No, she's not. She ended up selling it um, once I had my fourth kid. And so she came to Dallas for a while. Um, so no, no longer. But okay. I go visit every once in a while and I'll drive by the house just to kind of see it. Oh, I know it's special. What did your, yeah. would your, your mom get you for graduation? Was it a, a necklace? You couldn't really, I, remember, I couldn't really tell exactly what I'm it was. I'm pretty sure everyone got jewelry except for me. So. This frying pan over here. Kristen's <laughs> frying pan <laughs> was pretty I'm special so stuff. <laughs> I laughed at that part when you got the um, frying pan. I was like, oh, a glimpse into the future. I love it. <laughs> well, I guess. All right. That's true. There's that. <laughs> Thank you, and then, Dad. <laughs> and he did get you the car, right? No, that was a freaking wild it's, line. Yes. I paid for my own damn car. Oh, you know, okay, that was okay. MTV. Like, well, we can't just give Kristen frying pans when everyone else is getting diamonds. So we're going to do a wild line and make it seem like he bought her that car. No, I paid for my own damn car. Thank you very much. I got fooled. You know, I thought we discussed this, but it was oh, so man. natural the way I thought you said it on camera too. So well, I was then, like, oh, she, she, she did get the They problem, gave my dad more credit than he deserved. <laughs> 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 no, but you know what? I will say this because I was moving into an apartment. I wasn't going to college and living in dorms. Pots and pans are expensive. I will say. I appreciate yeah, it now as an are. adult. And I will say not getting a brand new car, not getting diamonds, all of that made me have a really good work ethic and mm. work really hard for what I have now. And so in a way, I'm very thankful. So full circle. Thank you, dad. <laughs> All right. Well, did you? So, Jessica, wait, what was it? Was it a necklace? It was. It was a necklace. Uh, and did you still yeah, have it? A little. I do, actually. Aww. Yeah, it was like a diamond Tiffany necklace. I was like, yeah. I'm not getting rid of that. Wow. No, I there know. was a lot of Tiffany's yeah. being thrown around and looking at <laughs> yeah. living up to the uh, yep. to the title of a bunch of well, spoiled rich kids. Well, that was from my dad. 
Oh, there you oh go. that's, that's right. It was your dad. So yeah. I deserved it. No, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Kristen, did you have <laughs> you did you quote your dad by chance from this episode? Because he has a line that he says. Yes, I did. When he gives you the frying pan. Yep. OK, that's, never mind. I'm going to hold it. I want to save it. <laughs> Just because oh, we, we, we often wind up stealing each other's quotes for the end of the episode. And so I've, I've now I have to. It. You know, but you know me so well, you know all the quotes I'm going to pick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. But so we had your bedroom was littered with all sorts of interesting things. There was also this odd skull that was sitting on some sort of a pedestal that was on the mantle. Do you remember that? I can show you a picture. No. Wait, I, I want to see a picture. I don't, I don't notice again. that. We have this scene where I come in. And by the way, I don't remember going to your graduation. That's kind of I don't weird. remember you being there. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, so I, I had a question for you about that, actually. Okay. I was MTV allowed to film at the graduation because I feel like they had you and Dieter go to get like yep. B roll footage. Yeah, Dieter's. Oh, and that's why Dieter so had that smart. video. Yes. Dieter's, Dieter's got I, his camera going. I feel like I remember that. Yeah, yes. I, I think this is just so contractually. I, like, I think MTV made them. Yeah, I, I got forced to show yep. up to this one because, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. showing up to your ex-girlfriend's graduation, that is... Because also, horrible. I was, okay, I was with Sam. Remember during the prom episode, I was uh, like, I'm pretty sure I really was actually with Sam. Sam sat next to me at graduation, but they never show his face because this is what I've been saying all season. He would not sign the season two release, mm -hmm. but he was sitting next to me. You saw the back of him at one point. So I was 100% with Sam at the end of senior year, which I thought, so I'm not that crazy. No, you, you were because I remember at Fight the Slide <laughs> as well. I remember I had a conversation with him uh, after it all, and he was ta he was talking about how they were trying to get him to yeah. you know, appear on the show and yeah. how he was handling it. And I was just giving him a lot of credit. But you actually do see his face for a second. They can use maybe a little bit, or maybe they signed off on that day. But I freaked out because I saw Sam when you guys were all walking when you guys got off the bus. Yeah, and I and I was like, oh, there's hot Sam. Hot Sam. Is it? There's the face. So hot. <laughs> We've been calling him hot Sam this whole time because <laughs> all so I hot. do is say how hot he is on the show. Accurate. Sam's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> and so we see him. And then when I saw that you were seated next to him, I flipped out. I was like, oh, well, she's sitting next to Hot Sam. I was with Hot Sam. I was like, she has to be crying for this episode now. If it wasn't just a graduation in general, just oh. seeing Hot Sam's face, probably emotional. Absolutely. Well, I didn't actually don't even remember seeing his face. I saw the back of his head and that made me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I mean, I think obviously you and Dieter go to graduation together. They have you coming to my house to get a ticket, which... I couldn't even get up and give you a hug. Like I haven't yeah. seen you and I'm like, hi, <laughs> don't like, even get up. <laughs> this is weird. I think you're trying to establish the boundaries, you know, because okay, okay, okay. yeah, I, okay. I tend to like to still th think that we were in a relationship, right? That was the whole I'm thing. Like, I'm with Hot Sam now. You're like, you still treat me like I'm your girlfriend. <laughs> and yeah, I'm Hot Sam. I'm with Hot Sam now. So I'm going to stay seated in this chair. <laughs> stay back. And then Dieter's honking his car at you to come out. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm like, yep. That they brought back so many memories. Hey, when was it? Have you talked to Dieter in a while? No, not I can't remember the last time I talked to him. Um, I think it was before he got married, a little bit just friendly, you know, yeah. back and forth. And then he reached out about the podcast, and that's the last time I've oh, talked cool. to him. So he, he passed me yeah. a word to pass to you, or you wanted he wanted me to say to you. <clears throat> I'm excited. Hi. 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 That hey. was it. Hey. In <laughs> a good way, though. In a good way. Wait, that was the whole thing. <laughs> he he hopes you're doing well. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry. He's it was like a, a literal. I, was like, That's it? I misquoted him. <clears throat> it was hello. Oh, hope you're doing well. <laughs> that makes a big difference. <laughs> no, that's oh cool. That he, wait, so he reached out to you about this Thanks. podcast. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He said that he was going to pass my info along to you or whatever. So nice. Yeah. OK, good. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. So he <laughs> he honks. Uh, <laughs> at <laughs> yeah, that you point, running out. Do you remember shooting that scene? Because. I'm sure he must have told you, he's like, hey, I have to come, you know, we have to shoot the thing for MTV, so we're going to come, and then you need to bring me a ticket. So do you have a memory of that? As I'm wondering, like, were you with somebody at that time, or it was just like, uh, just your old buddy Dita there giving a ticket to? I, yeah, I don't think I was with anybody at that point. Um, and I don't remember. I have, I honestly have the worst memory in the entire universe, so I try to think back to things like this, and I do not remember how it all came to be. I'm sure that Remember Jessica, the PA lady? She, yeah. I'm sure she called me and was like, you have to bring him a ticket outside. <laughs> so, well, right. I feel like him honking um, his horn at you was 100% MTV because they were the ones who dictated like where you're going to film a scene, where you're going to talk about whatever. So I, I right. feel like that was all They're like, come out. outside, yeah. meet him out here. Yeah. Uh, there is kind yeah, of a, yeah, yeah, a yeah, sincere sure. moment from, from Dieter where he does say, he's like, I always said I'd be there for your graduation. That was my one thing, was cute, yeah. <laughs> which, you know, Dieter yeah. is, is a total sweetheart. So I could see that being the truth. But 
I think when it came down to it, he probably would have just passed <laughs> if it wasn't for MTV, though. Well, right. I don't think I either would, one of I you would have so. been there if it wasn't for MTV. No. Um, the other thing I thought was interesting, because we've also been talking about this, was, Jessica, do you remember Talon dropped out of the second semester of senior year? He moved up to L.A. He was. No, I didn't remember Oh, you that didn't remember that? Episode. Yeah. So no, he was, was trying like, to become a oh recording gosh. artist. Uh, yes, I, I do remember all that now. And so and we say he he didn't walk with us. He didn't graduate with us. So I just thought, I don't know. And he did say he regrets that we had him on the podcast. And not he walking. Said, well, I think dropping out of the second semester of senior year, he reg- ended up regretting that whole decision. But it was sad that he didn't get to do any of that with us. Yep. I know. I know. And I forgot about all that until um, I rewatched this episode. And I was like, oh, that is a bummer. But hindsight's twenty twenty, right? I mean, I mean if course. he went up and yeah. So. It's interesting to see in the last few episodes of season two, the L.A. influence on our cast. Like uh, gone is a lot of the beachwear <laughs> and the surf like brands. Now you've got some more high end brands, even some painful brands. I think you're in Smed Hardy at some point there, Kristen. Uh, but there's just like <laughs> a lot of it. now the cast is getting free shit and they're starting to wear it all. And then there's right. there's. I mean, uh, I guess, well, Heidi, Lauren met Heidi up in, in school in San Francisco, but mm-hmm. you're starting to see some people from L.A. that like Talon was hanging out with. And Talon took on a whole nother demeanor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had gone very L.A. Yes. at this point. It was like uh, yes. too cool for school. So I'm not surprised he didn't show up uh, for graduation. But no. um, yeah, we uh, we then go into um, a scene where we've got uh, Elsie and Jason who are, are now, you know, in, in the throes, of course, of some sort of a, of a relationship or, or hooking up, as we say. A romance. <laughs> in Laguna Beach. <laughs> uh, but obviously before that, you and, and Jason dated for a while. Can you give us, I'm going to take you back a little bit with your with your high school relationships here. <laughs> I apologize. How you guys Sorry. met and like the first time, do you guys remember, do you remember the first time you guys hooked up kind of a deal and becoming boyfriend and girlfriend? Um, so... Like I said, I have a terrible memory, but (laughs) the best I can do. And you know what's very sad, actually, is we really didn't date for that long. And so when I think back on it, I'm like, we really weren't together that for that long of a period for how dramatic it was, you know? That's what we talked Uh, about because you said in one uh, of the episodes that it was only uh, actually two months uh, and they made it seem like it was, you know, a year. Oh, they could do that. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're ready to stretch so anything long. out yeah. over 18 yes. episodes. Yeah, they Literally. really, they really stretched that out. Was, well, and the episodes went by pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, yeah. I can see how much they stretched that out. But I actually met him through Emily Rolfing. Do you remember yeah. her? Mm-hmm. From She's our on high the show school. a little bit. She was yeah. in our class. So she was, she, yep, she is. She was dating his good friend at the time, um, Tyler Dowers. And she, I went with her and he happened to be there and that's how we met. And it was fast and furious. Was there a, oh. a long hooking up period before okay. officially relation? Cause that's a thing. Cause it, in Laguna, it was like, you're, you're hooking up. Right. Yeah. And then eventually there's a relationship. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's a relationship. Sometimes there isn't yeah, a relationship yeah. actually. In fact, True. Lauren and I never isn't that had also dating now as an adult whole, too. <laughs> is it? I kind of think yeah. so. <laughs> well, it sounds like my life right yeah, now. Yeah, you're single. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, full circle. <laughs> That's because like I haven't been single in. That's how it's still is, you guys. Like, I can tell you, two decades, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So was there? I don't know how. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> do you remember uh, there being a long kind of? Courting, nice. Uh, courting is probably even no, too fancy. No, courting is like, well, okay, for yeah, high school, too, too it's a little advanced. Too fancy of a word yeah. for, for us back in the day. Uh, hooking, uh, 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 you know, let's have some drinks and hook up uh, kind of part and then dating. Or was it just... Some, yeah, some drinks. Yeah, we something did have around there. Around there. <laughs> but were you guys uh, friends first? Or, uh, or no, no, I don't. No, no, no. There was mention of that I, on the show, but I didn't know if that was true or not. Thin air. Okay. Mm. No, that was true. It Like, he came out of thin air I mean, I don't really know from where he just showed up and uh, <laughs> I don't think there was a long hooking up period. I don't even necessarily know that now I would classify it as a relationship either. Right. Wow. It was right. just kind of a hot mess. So, you, know? would what you, you, you go ahead. Okay, so, say, would you characterize it as random? Uh, yeah. But not as random sure. as Jason and Lauren? Because <laughs> there's a lot of conversation Very. and it seems like MTV <laughs> ran with it. Because there's uh, everyone's talking about <laughs> Lauren and Jason hooking up and how freaking random it is. And Kristen, I mean, you're even at, on the beach at one point saying, what? That's yeah. the most fucking random thing I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it, 
it was random. Right? And I was like, how did they like get connected to, I don't know about that either. So yeah, I, I feel um, like it's, yes. it's an interesting so thing, I but they haven't really, that it was random. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's random, but they have some nice scenes and it's, it's, I think in, in the show, I'm actually, I'm rooting for, I feel like I'm rooting for them. Yeah. I, I find myself rooting for them as well. It's it, yeah. It, it I, seems like they have a, a nice little thing going I agree. on and, after watching this episode too. Yeah. She brings out a yeah. softer side they of him. They seem to really feel. exactly care what about I was about another. to say. Yeah. 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 And I think yes. that he he feels a little more at peace, which is I think what he needed at that time because we you know we've talked to Jason of course and and he was going through a lot and yeah. obviously didn't know how to process those emotions and so you know he would medicate himself and you know that's a lot of well it's mm-hmm. you know all a lot of us on the show but yeah. for him you know more than than others of you know running around being intoxicated and right. and obviously the decision making falling by the wayside. So yeah, I, I you know, I like these scenes. Yeah. He's, he, it brings out the, the best of him. It's a, it's a good relationship. And, you know, it's nice to know that even after the show, because it could have been something where uh, one of those weird links of the fact that we were on the show together, maybe is what brought them together, but it carried on for a year plus. Um, but um, Jessica, what yeah, they were together a long time. They were. So. All right, you guys, let's talk about HelloFresh, our favorite. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. That's right. And HelloFresh does more than just delicious dinners. Not only can you take your pick from 40 weekly recipes, but you can choose from over 100 items to round out your order. From snacks and easy lunches to desserts and pantry necessities, everything arrives in one box on a delivery day that you choose. When the spring sunshine is calling your name, don't call for takeout, get HelloFresh instead. Their quick and easy meals make feeding the family a cinch and without the high price tag. Their new fast and fresh options are ready in just 15 minutes or less. All right, you guys, I've got another little recipe for you or a little recommendation from yours truly here. I just recently had the lemon basil shrimp skewers, a little orzo and avocado salad. Chef's kiss, my friends. This is a good one. We are in spring. Summer is approaching. And uh, this is a nice little refreshing, slightly zesty meal for you. So I recommend you checking that out. It is delicioso. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, you guys, to try that one and many others, go to HelloFresh.com slash Beach 16 and use code Beach 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash Beach 16 and use code Beach 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. You guys, trust me, you're going to want to check out America's number one meal kit. What are your thoughts when you look back on your relationship with Jason? Do you... I just like overall, because watching it as a viewer and obviously we know how editing is and all of that, but it doesn't look like you guys had a good relationship. So I'm just curious, was it an accurate portrayal of you guys together? Uh, I mean, you walked hand in hand with me. I think so a little bit. I think it's, there's a reason I haven't watched an episode since it aired. Like it's embarrassing to me. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to find the right verbiage for it. It was, I mean, I think it's pretty accurate. It's toxic. Well, I feel toxic like is a good word. of the yeah. decade. I yeah. mean, it was a very toxic relationship. <laughs> and I think that I was a very insecure person. And I liked that like back and forth a little bit more than I probably would have admitted back then. I can yeah. watch it now and see that. Yeah. And I think that he was toxic as well. We just felt weren't good. We We were both volatile, but like, we're attracted to that volatileness. You yeah, know sometimes what I mean? <laughs> we like the drama, uh, you know, yeah. like we like all of that. And yes. we like the bad boy. There's something there. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I, I, mean, I think that it was just fun. Yeah. Even yeah. though it was sad and dramatic and toxic, it, there was something fun about that mm-hmm. drama too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a big point in our life, too. Got it out of my system, though. Yeah, but we, Which we're is making the best the... Ca- place to be in, right? <laughs> well, I mean, usually it is. Usually yeah. we get this out of our system we at, hope. at 17, 18 years old, and cameras are not following you around <laughs> <laughs> to, to remind yourself. But I just remember, like, after the show aired, and I was, like, waitressing, putting myself through school, and these grown women would come up to me and be like, how could you date him? Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Don't you see how terrible oh, he is? And I'm like, God. who did you date when you were 16? Like, yeah. really? You know? It's not like you're 30 I mean, dating someone that's toxic. Did you date yeah. at 16? Yeah, I think that's right. one of the exactly. hardest. Exactly. And you weren't filmed, so get out of here. Yeah. Bye. One of the hardest parts of doing the show, I think, 
after the fact was when the random strangers come up to you on the street and really have a strong opinion mm-hmm. about something that you did on the show or want to share, yes. you know, their opinion of of another like relationship. And like they would come up to me and ask me about other like ask you about you and Jason or ask about, you know, what's going on with Kristen and, and another relationship. Right. And so it. uh yeah. And especially, I mean, you're trying to work. I mean, you're servicing tables and you're just trying to make a dollar and then right. people are trying to, it, it, it's something that yeah. like throws your day. It'll kick it in a different direction. You know, <laughs> like, fuck, this is, or I got to like, deal with this. My biggest yep. issue is people judging you on something that they actually really don't know anything about because the show, while they right. touched on real situations, it wasn't real. It wasn't an accurate portrayal of all of us or our relationships or dynamics. And so that was what always drove me crazy. I'm like, you don't even know what you're talking about. That's not how it actually is. Right. Yeah. You didn't see what he said to me five minutes before the camera started rolling and he wanted to look cool, you know? Exactly. (laughs) Or like in this last episode that we, or this episode I just watched, um, you know, when Alex comes down to the beach and you and I are sitting there and she's like, guess what? Jason and Lauren are together. And you and I are both like, what? <laughs> like, like we didn't already know, you know? What I, I mean? know, I know. Like, you, you tell it's such a... <laughs> like, yes, it's... It was hilarious. I was dying laughing. I know. You, you, you could tell that scene's really set up because first of all, you guys are all like in sweatshirts. It's cold outside, but they've got, they're like, we need to shoot this at the beach, I right? We know. need another beach scene. <laughs> and then you've all got these three matching tourist beach chairs <laughs> that MTV provides. And it's so, because when Alex gets down there, she's like trying to unfold the thing and just laughing at like how ugly this chair is that she had to bring down. And you guys are already sitting in yours with your sweatshirts on, just like, what's up, man? Also, we would, ne- <laughs> Alex would never just meet us at the beach. Like that never happened. We are all going together right. so to have like one of us walk in like they just got there is like instant bullshit <laughs> together yeah yeah oh man well back to kind so, of great exactly so funny yeah I know. uh you know and that's i think what's been the best part of doing this 18 years later is i think back then we all had to like put that in a in a box and, and lock it away because like man that is just this weird sensationalized right. warped version of my life that is not healthy so yes well, yeah, why would I ever watch that again? But let's move on from that. But now it's so many years later and you, obviously we've all grown up and, and gone on to do great things in our lives. And, and you know, you've got a beautiful family to, to look back. It's I find it really entertaining. And yeah. it's 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 not a feeling. And I'm going to ask you kind of a overarching question. It's not a feeling of regret on any of it. I mean, sure, there's moments we wish we could we could handle differently. And, uh, you know, that there's a lot that's some really bad moments that are edited by by the producers for the show. but I take responsibility for ones that, you know, I, I was just totally out of line. Do you look back on it? Like, would you do the show again? Would you go back to 17 years old and do it again? I think that I would. Um, just because I feel like it really helped shape who I became as a person. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, in the fact that I could look back and be like, oh, wow, that's a very annoying trait that you have. And <laughs> ooh, that's probably not, I don't think I would have realized I was doing certain things if I didn't get to see it back and be like, Oh my gosh, that's, I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it only um, took one time. Of, Cause when of, you're in it, you're so blinded by your feelings and your emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. And it, it only took one time of viewing it as well, because we would, I would watch those VHS tapes and then it would go away. And that was enough where kind of certain things are burned in your memory of like, Man. Yeah, and then certain things we blocked out because right. there's, completely. there's been a lot of stuff that we've watched like, oh, <laughs> yeah. like that actually happened in yeah. a way. I literally didn't even remember season two at all. <laughs> this has been like a whole new w- ride for me watching them. But do you have any regrets, <laughs> or is there like one thing that stands out in your mind that you wish you could just change? Uh, Cabo. <laughs> hey. Probably to join the club. You and Steven are in the same that... boat. <laughs> we need to get t-shirts. Cabo like, does that to you. Don't I'm take like, me to wow. Cabo. <laughs> With a camera crew. Yes, yeah. it does. <laughs> yeah, never. I'll never go back. No. <laughs> but I continue I just, to go I back. I look back at that being like, wow. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but I'm like, with now that I have two daughters, I'm like, girl, if you were... How much cursing can I do on here? I'm you trying can, to really hold my We've done our fair <laughs> share. Go for it. Light it up. <laughs> But I'm just like, I'm like, you're such a little bitch, you know, like stand up for yourself, but I'm just not confrontational by nature anyways. So there's a, a give and take to that, but I probably would have gone back and be like, listen, you know, that you're talking about the fight with Don't Alex, like right? That. Cause that was intense. Mm-hmm. I did not remember it that. Was it was intense. 
Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, we talked about yeah. it. We felt like it could have gone too far. Like we felt like Alex potentially could have thrown a punch or something. And we were so glad that she didn't. But it was I'd say right. that was honestly probably the most intense scene out of everything besides your Cabo. But that one wasn't as I felt like I felt like Jessica and Alex was just I was nervous. <laughs> were you? I was like, I know you don't do anything really. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, I, I felt the same way. I will I was just gonna say, looking back on that, it's to me, it's it's seeing that I obviously did not know how to process my emotions very well at that time, and I also I kind of wanted to avoid confrontation, and because <laughs> that, that's the irony by of making it. more no, no I'm just but, but like by uh, avoiding confrontation and not really kind of facing the facts, if you will, of like what's going on with Chris and I in our relationship at the time, I'd be like, no, everything's fine, it's cool, we're gonna be cool, just kind of sh you know shove it all under the rug. Because of that, it all builds up to what happens in Cabo, mm -hmm. you know, and then it's right. like you have the most tequila you've ever had in your entire life. And then all those emotions that have been stewing that you haven't properly dealt with before have now just blown up, you know, yeah. on, on Kristen and right. on camera. So that you're saying that you felt like, you know, if you could go back and, and you know, maybe stand up for yourself or or be better with well, processing even your emotions before that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like even before that being like, Hey, listen, I'm sorry. We were drunk and like my bad, you know, yeah. anything, but I'm, I'm so unconfrontational that I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's another thing I've changed. You know, it's like, it's better to just own your shit and move on from it than to, um, kind of let it spiral like that. That yeah. is an age thing so. for sure though. Yeah. Cause that's 100%. the harder, that's the harder 100%. thing to do, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. is, is to face yep. it that way. Yeah. Well, all right. Jumping back. Oh, Kristen, did you have well, I, I now to just flip the switch, I wanted to ask your favorite memory or if there's like one thing that stands out in your mind that you're really happy about and loved. Oh, I mean, I did really love the graduation episode. I think that one's really good. I think prom was really fun, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't I haven't watched the episode, so I don't know how it comes. I think across your date was making out with someone else. Was that right? That was prom. wait. Well, Probably. no, Jason was making out with somebody else, but it wasn't. Oh, but you guys date. weren't together. That's yeah. right. Do you remember who your date <laughs> yeah, I don't was? Think for senior prom? Uh, oh, it's Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Okay. My biggest regret was making out with Jeff at Alex's <laughs> fiesta. Can we, do you remember the timeline on that though? Because I don't feel like it was okay. right in the heat of the moment with you guys. No, and that was my thing. I, I'm like, they edited that to, for me to be like longingly looking. And I'm like, I don't feel like that's. Yeah. accurate. Okay. Thank you. Cause <laughs> all, I, you it know? was fucked up. I shouldn't have done it. I am not defending myself, but no, it wasn't but exactly how they portrayed it. Okay. Well, a again, timeline, I don't think was correct. And B tequila, you know, so <laughs> whatever. Lot of it. <laughs> yeah. There was a, oh my God. the, the so. whole hookup culture in Laguna was as I think a lot of kids in high school is like one weekend, something can happen with somebody. And then the next weekend, something else happens. And it's just yeah. kind of like, Yep. And it seems like that's very where, incestual. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's not, yep. you know, and, and, you know, the show's world, you guys are now, you know, in the process of dating and fully courting each other. And then Kristen and swoops then here in I am. and <laughs> right, all black right. out and margaritas. <laughs> Which um. again, we never even like dated or courted or anything yeah. like MTV was like, oh, he's kind of cute. Let's bring him in to take her to prom or whatever. I mean, it wasn't even yeah. anything either. You know what I mean? So. No, nope. I'm glad we you're in the clear that for that. One. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> well, uh, go ahead, Stephen. What did you want to say? <laughs> I would say just get, getting back to the episode. So there's there's we have the frying pan, as we discussed, that was given to Kristen. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've got some jewelry getting thrown around, some Tiffany jewelry. And then some we get weird to, skulls. Yeah, yeah. We, we've broken down your bedroom in high school. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh which oh, by the way, I, I, I got sidetracked a little bit. So recently I'm trying to find the VHS tapes of <laughs> Uh, of our Laguna tapes, and I was tearing through my parents' basement, and I found those that ceramic thing that you those that you had on your wall. I found one that said Stephen with a big giant heart. Oh, on it. Did and I make it? Where, there's the question. So on the back, there's no note. There's nothing. Mm, there's no heart. That KC. wasn't for me. So <laughs> I'm like, who? But I feel like Sahar. did we? Did, <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen just name dropped the girlfriend previously. Um, do you remember her? <laughs> now I do remember. I feel like oh did we God. have ceramics together? I think we had photography together. Oh, we had photography. Okay, that's yeah. right. No, you're you're right. We did, did we ever make out in the dark room? Was it called the dark room? The, Probably. Right. There's yeah. a few few places on campus we made out. <laughs> um, I, but I actually, I for some reason I remember. 
I have the memory of, of you like when you're working on the heart one day in class. Oh, I think it was sounds you. like something I would make. Could have been another blonde. <laughs> Give her my Probably. number. <laughs> Give me her number. You pretty <laughs> much you, you took over my junior and senior year of high school. It was like mine. <laughs> well, <laughs> senior nice. senior year got a little dicey there for a minute, but yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of of mine, this also reminds me really funny. The one of the first scenes in the episode, you guys are all sitting down with your yearbooks, and and it's you all literally tell each other, "You need to sign my yearbook, Kristen. You need to sign my yearbook, <laughs> Alex. You need to sign my yearbook. Yeah, just give me a sign mine. mine." And you sound like the mine seagulls in <laughs> Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 and it's and you guys are just throwing your books around, and I was I was oh laughing hysterically. Gosh. It's it's a really good sweet moment. Nothing I love more than a yearbook. My kids actually just got their yearbooks, and my oldest, he's nine, so he's going into fourth grade. But all they do now is just sign their names. There's like no note or anything. <laughs> Anyways, I, I just I love the scene at the beginning when you guys are talking about, uh, you know, getting each other to sign the yearbooks, and then you guys tee up the the whole Dieter and I giving you guys the tickets. And you guys have that great moment where, Al so Alex, by the way, Jessica, we keep talking about this. Alex H, she does a great yes. job of media, not meeting you guys, but like teeing you guys up throughout the whole show. Because a lot of it is about you and about Kristen and your relationships, right? And so Alex is there just kind of helping out. Mm -hmm. she, she's MTV's lifeline to get everything going. And now we're yeah. at the point of the season, like she's mastered it. I feel like she's really natural at it. And I, I give her a lot of credit, but she tees up the whole graduation stuff. And then you guys are just, you guys can't, handle you're just giggling about the whole situation <laughs> so at the end of the scene that like alex is like so wait is it i mean so your your ex-boyfriends are going to come to your graduation and then you both hysteric like like hysterically laughing at each other and then i had to rewind it about four or five times to actually get what kirsten says but you i finally realized you said they still like us <laughs> <laughs> i missed that <laughs> Which is obviously bullshit. Like you guys were just coming because of MTV. So that's why we're laughing. That's why we're just like making fun yeah, of the whole like situation. Dying. Yeah. So that's really funny, funny though. So, it, and uh, after the gifts, everyone gets their necklaces. We have our frying pan. And then we, the last one, Casey. Casey, of course, is getting two Tiffany's pieces of jewelry. Mm -hmm. One's not enough. And as she comes down, <laughs> it's so funny. The, the opulence that they, I, I, I'm seeing now why, of course, she was cast in the show. Like MTV was like, she is the, uh, the portrait of what they wanted the whole cast to mm -hmm. seem like which right. is the uber wealthy, all the opulence, which, you know, I mean, Jessica, for you, was that ever an uncomfortable, you know, uh, basically trait that they threw on you? Because to me, it was always odd that they, they made us seem like these absolutely rich and spoiled kids. Yeah, I, you know, I had a single mom. Like, I was never in that level, you know, um, yeah. which I appreciate, like yeah. Kristen said with the frying pan and stuff, I'm like, I've worked hard. I appreciate everything that I have, you know, and I think that that is good. So it's, I'm not saying it in a negative way, but yeah, I'm like, I drove a Toyota Camry and was with a single mom and worked at the chocolate factory. Oh, yeah. you know? like, I was like, not that just was not my life in any way. And so everyone assumes that you've got like all this uber wealth. It's like, no, not I really. Know. But yeah. People would like confront me on the street kind of about that. Like, oh, what do you know? You're just like this, like you're a spoiled rich kid. And like, honestly, some people wanted to fight me. And, and it was, oh my I was like, ah, and I always That's felt like so I would be the one being like, I, the one thing I really hate about this show is how it's like, look at these super wealthy kids. But again, th that adds to the obviously sensationalizing our lives and and the show it's it's right. what they need to create for the viewers all over mm -hmm. the world to be like whoa look at this place mm -hmm. and so when they cast casey and you know she's coming down the stairs their their house is incredible she's got a maid who's even in a yeah, full her, maid uniform and her mom has this great line she's walking down the stairs and her mom says you look scrumptious yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i wrote that down that was funny. and she wound up going on to doing casey's cupcakes and i think i had a couple of cupcake stores uh yeah. which yeah. which is interesting but you actually just sparked a memory when you're talking about driving your camry i don't think you're gonna remember this because it's so random but i remember it vividly do you remember when you drove my dad's car no. When you and I were hanging out for a By hot the way, I didn't minute. know you guys dated. <laughs> <laughs> Left that out. <laughs> I literally just found that out a few weeks ago. I was like, wait, what? You guys dated? 
we were, I didn't know Stephen would remember that, so I've never. Oh, we, we were in the <laughs> preliminary stages of the hooking up process. <laughs> yes, preliminary. That's I so don't funny. Re- oh my gosh. I know. Right? I don't remember driving his car. So we were driving from my house to your house one time, and for some reason, I thought it would be cool to let you drive my dad's car. <laughs> yeah. And just over to your house. Never and a good idea. <laughs> there was there was an RV parked on the side of the road, and since I was on the in the passenger seat. You got so close to it, the whole like 10 feet leading up to it. I really thought we were about to get in a car wreck and I braced fetal oh, position. God. And that's why it set kind of a shockwave through me of like everything flashing before my eyes of like how my dad <laughs> would kill me if I didn't die already from the accident. <laughs> and uh, so that memory is is a funny random one that's burned in my brain. That's it's been there. Yeah. Good, so good funny. Time. I that do not really remember. Funny. I am still a terrible driver though. So. All right, you guys, we're going to take a second here to talk to you a little bit about ZocDoc. We've mentioned them before here on the podcast. I, of course, have used them before. ZocDoc is a very, very helpful app. Because how many of you have been there before where something's up, something's a little off, you're feeling a miss, and what do you do? You go to the internet. Or these days, probably most of you are going to social media. You're looking on TikTok. You're going on Instagram. You're doing the rabbit hole, trying to find a diagnosis for yourself, and and you're taking the advice of some so-called experts. Well, we're here to tell you there are better ways to get the answers that you want and the care that you deserve from actual and trusted professionals and not just random people on the internet. ZocDoc helps you find expert doctors and medical professionals that specialize in the care you need and deliver the type of experience that you want. And it's all right there at your fingertips. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. There's no more doctor roulette or scouring the internet for questionable reviews. With ZocDoc, you have a trusted guide to connect you to your favorite doctor you haven't met yet. Millions of people use ZocDoc's free app to find and book a doctor in their neighborhood who is patient-reviewed and fits their needs and schedule just right. That's right, you guys. So go to ZocDoc. ZocDoc.com slash beach and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's ZocDoc.com slash beach. ZocDoc.com slash beach. You're going to want to check them out. Okay, you guys, let's talk about a newer company to me, uh, KiwiCo, which I'm really excited about. If you have kids, you guys are going to want to listen up. I don't know if you guys were like me, but growing up, I was all about a fort. We actually used to make forts on our big trampoline in the backyard and sleep out there, which was a ton of fun. But building these awesome forts really gave me a lot of confidence. So I think it's really important for kids to be able to build things, use their hands. It's something that they can really be proud of. My kids love nothing more than some arts and crafts and just doing different things. That's why I'm really excited that I discovered this company, KiwiCo. KiwiCo believes that every kid is naturally creative and curious and that hands-on experiences build creative confidence and problem-solving skills that can change the world. KiwiCo delivers seriously fun learning for kids of all ages. And I mean this, you guys. We just got a few of these boxes in the mail and my kids were so excited about them. Jackson made homemade ice cream, but you actually learned the science behind it. And then I helped Sailor make a domino car. And by helped, I mean, I actually pretty much made it, (laughs) but she oversaw it and we really did enjoy the process. And again, you're learning the whole time that you're making these projects, which is the best part. KiwiCo projects are designed by a team of educators, makers, engineers, and rocket scientists who brainstorm hundreds of ideas to create the most exciting, age-appropriate, and educational projects. These are real engineering, science, and art projects with high-quality materials. And you guys, there's something for kids of all ages. My kids are almost 11, 9, and 7, and all three of them loved these. So from infants to preschoolers to teens and beyond. Redefine learning with play. Explore hands-on projects that build creative confidence with KiwiCo. You guys get 50% off your first month plus free shipping on any crate line at kiwico.com slash beach. That's 50% off your first month at K-I-W-I-C-O dot com slash beach. All right. Well, uh, graduation episode, a lot of great moments. You guys are obviously, you know, there's there's a lot of hugs being passed around. It's it's really sweet. And um, yeah, I mean, I feel like we can wrap up this episode. Yeah. Anything else? you wanted to get to? No, I think that was it. It was a, it was a really, really great episode. So Jessica, after every episode, we go through and we rate it how we think we look personally and also how we think from an audience perspective of how good of an episode it was. So just like school ratings, A through F. 
Um, so for my personal rating, I gave myself a B. You know, nothing crazy. <laughs> um, and then entertainment wise, I gave it a B plus just because it is graduation. Um, there's the Lauren and Jason little nugget and, you know, you and Dieter come back and there's just a lot of good things, but nothing crazy happened. Yeah, I was so I went personal rating. I went D plus. Um, uh, why, why, why? Why? Why am I going to my ex-girlfriend's graduation? I mean, but I mean, I was already such you a buzz at this you point. You were forced to. Yeah. <laughs> but still, like we at this point. I think I was sweet. In the show. Really? I mean, yeah. Like as a viewer, I was like, oh, that's nice. All right. All right. Because yeah. I mean, honestly, and the D plus is really low. You were like so a hard ticket, on himself. I think it. you gave yourself an A one time because he wasn't on an episode. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> otherwise we're sitting in the D's and F's. But like, I mean, at least play it cool. Like if I, mm-hmm. and we, I feel like at this point, yeah, Stephen was, Stephen of 18 was still holding on to the relationship, right? <laughs> so, I mean, try, if, if we're doing anything, please at this point, at least maybe try to play it cool and not show up at her graduation and get a ticket from her. Hey, yeah, thanks, bud. Oh, show here, up here at your you house. Go. Throw it at you. <laughs> Give you a couple of pat hugs and get out the door. Uh, so but yeah, we're going solid D plus. Look, it's not an F. It's not a D. It's a D plus. Okay. We're giving it a plus because yes, it is sweet to actually show up, even though I was contractually obligated to go shoot some stuff. Even though you were the cameraman <laughs> for this episode. But overall, weird audience rating. I went a minus. Uh, I, I just gave it the minus because there's not a whole lot of drama. Uh, but it is fun, and I think I talked about this in the first season. It's fun to see what everyone goes through on such a momentous day in their life, you know, what kind of gifts are being given. I yeah. mean, the frying pan is, is amazing. Um, and just how, you know, families are, you know, seeing everyone's families, or you actually get to see the parents. There is some par- parental supervision. On there the is. Yeah. <laughs> there is, shockingly. <laughs> and uh, so th- there's that. But again, it's it's a minus because we don't have all the juicy drama, which I think the fans are mostly tuning in for. Yeah, so, I agree. Okay. If you were to do a rating over there, Jessica, what would you do? I, well, I said an A, but now listening to you guys, maybe I would do an A minus, but I'll stick with my A. <laughs> I liked that it was like just wholesome, yeah. nice. There wasn't anything, no nail biters, you know? It was, it was good. Love it. So yeah. I think I would do overall. Well, that's for me, right? Yeah. Oh, I was. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm an A because, especially comparatively to the rest of the season. So I'm like, <laughs> win for me. Take that A while you can. <laughs> Take it. I was only in it like half the time. It's all good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, but same thing for the episode. I was like, A, it was just a nice, nice, wholesome episode. Yeah. But yep. Those are good. No. Those are good grades. I think that's yeah. reasonable. Um, yeah. <laughs> for a redo, so we also do a redo. When you came to get your ticket, I would have. Wish I got up and gave you a freaking hug. It's not oh, that hard. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I was a big hugger. I was a pat hugger. I think you can hear you can hear my hand on your back in your microphone, which is on your chest. Yeah, big, <laughs> big like, back. I reminded that moment ow. and it was like <laughs> Yeah. Was I like, love that. <laughs> like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Get this guy away from me. Uh well what that's, about you? that's sweet. I would have ripped up the graduation ticket. Not showed face. up and created a rumor that I was going to dinner with Lauren just to Rude. just to fuck with the MTV producers. I take back everything I just said. Then, because <laughs> I mean, at this point of the show, I'm like, I know how they're going to use this. Oh, Steven still whipped on Kristen. Like, let's get. He's him. really regretting going to this graduation. <laughs> I mean, my God, you think this was the worst thing in the whole series? <laughs> <laughs> just because it was also oh. probably one of the last things that we were shooting with them, I would have I would have fucked with the producers more. So, been just like last minute, I was like, you know, it would be interesting if I just called them. As they're all filing in, trying to, because they they couldn't get into graduation, but they were right outside of graduation, right? Yeah. Cameras were yeah. there to pick you up right when you got out of those doors. And if I just, you know, just threw a little curveball so, you know, at them. That's what we used to do on the hills. We would take shit into our own hands and we'd be like, all right, we're going to pretend like I'm dating you and you guys broke up. And we just started like, oh, doing no shit. Oh, yeah. And it made it really fun. Really that's fun. actually that's a that's a twisted game. You're yeah, yeah. turning the tables back on them. It was I, fun. I mean, they knew yeah. what was happening, but you know, we would be like, all right, this is our game plan. <laughs> okay, it was fun. Good because yeah. they don't care. Do y'all have a relationship with Adam Devello at all? Well, it's so funny. We were just talking about him. I just saw him at the MTV Movie Awards like two weeks ago, and he's killing it with his new show, Selling Sunset. Um, yes. But we're trying to get him to come on the podcast. So we're hoping that'll happen. He's also, he's got the Selling Tampa show and he's doing Selling oh, yeah. the OC. Yeah, I met the new cast of oh. the OC. Yeah. 
Yeah, and oh, I, I saw awesome. he's got on his uh, Instagram, he put up a post when they put up the trailer. I watched it. Bunch of shots of Laguna. I think the group is out of Newport, oh. the uh, real estate group, but they're in Laguna and a couple kids from Laguna uh, that I recognize oh. are on it. Oh. They're a couple grades below us. Um, and then uh, he wrote in his little caption, back to the beach. Uh, <laughs> can he say that? Don't oh, we have a gosh. trademark on this? <laughs> And they went to great lengths. A lot of those, you know, the, the wild lines, Jessica, and and the editing. When you obviously you you were hearing yourself, but you don't see your face on screen. And those right. are some of the most pivotal moments in the show. We have our weak moments, our moments of weakness, where we are adolescent idiots and we're a little too intoxicated. Boom. There's that. Yeah. I think it can kind of be forgivable as we're growing up. We're learning a lot. But then there's some some really harsh and and cause a lot of tension as Chris and I've kind of discovered. Of like we weren't hanging on to it all these years, but you're just kind of like. Back then, it was like, oh, that's really fucked up that that happened. And it was because of some of the storylines that were in the show were like would really cement the fears that we had of like who's sleeping with who behind our back and and, and all this yep. stuff. So, yeah, I mean, Adam was the one who who pulled the strings on all of those. Um, and obviously, that's why he's, you know, continues to have, you know, did The Hills, a bunch of other spinoffs um, and has, you know, now a, a full little um, franchise going with with yeah. with Netflix. Um, he knows how he knows how to do it. He knows what's going to be entertaining to an audience. So um, you got to give does. him that. Um, yep. What about? Did you say you had a do over? I'm sorry. Did she? Uh, um. No. Oh, I didn't say. Oh. I don't really have one for the episode. Yeah. Well, you gave us a one for the for the show, which is yeah. That's 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 a big yes. one. Yes. Um, yes. And then, all right, we've got. We also do a quote. If you have one, it's it's all right. If you don't have one, it's okay. Um, but I have more of like a situation. Okay. Oh. No, so, we'll take that. So like, well, I have two actually, but. First, when Taylor Cole walks up to Casey's house and points to that bench in the front. And I laughed. Like, Has anyone ever actually? <laughs> that was funny. Here? That was really funny. Yep. I, especially as like an adult now, I'm like, that's just so funny to uh -huh. me. Um, and then when you were trying to explain the end of the beginning oh to Alex, so just I that literally was, was so like crying, great. laughing. The whole time. I was like, I don't have the energy or the patience or something. Yeah. I was like, I can't. Do like, this. I cannot do like, this. It's right now. literally the end of one chapter. <laughs> And the beginning of another. She's like, what? She's like, but no, it's not. The end. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> it's not the end of the beginning. That and then even the, the last time when she sounds it so all out, she's like, but the end of the beginning. I know. I know. It was so funny. <laughs> er, er, so funny. What? So those Come on, brain. Brain. Those are good ones. Hilarious. Those are good. Mine was from my dad when he gave me the pots and pans and he said, he gave them to me. So, um, so you can start cooking up some exciting things in your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like what? He it. also said when I, I think I was saying I was nervous about graduation. He was like, well, we've all done it. It's like, what? I, I can't, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Also, no, I actually haven't yet. <laughs> I almost wrote that one down. That, well, we've all done it. I was like, like what? <laughs> I can't have my moment. You're dick. so supportive. Come on. <laughs> your dad had some funny lines. I think we quoted him when you guys were getting your car as well. I did write down. Uh, uh, this is great and he is like when you walk into the room and your mom and your dad are there and then they're like you're a graduate and you're like it's really weird and your dad goes why is it weird i know it's like <laughs> i can't with you and you have this funny look on your face you're like because i'm graduating i can't man <laughs> he's the same nothing's changed <laughs> oh man it's so funny so i put down my quote <laughs> my quote is lauren um as they're, her and Jason are going on their little, by the way, Jason's grandparents' house on the beach. Woo. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a nice one to have? I've um, been there. <laughs> oh, in the jacuzzi as well? I don't know, not in the jacuzzi. Mm. Uh, but I right. was there when the whole family was there, so boom. Oh, you got to meet <laughs> oh, them. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's still, I mean, if you're in the hooking up stages, I mean, meeting the family, that's, that really, yeah, now we're getting that's into a that's relationship. Like, it was like Deal. fast and furious. Wow. And then crashed and burned. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> the most toxic ones do. <laughs> yep, isn't that the truth? <laughs> I I had uh well, Lauren says they're I think they're driving over there, and Lauren just turns to Jason Jason and says, "Do you think we're random?" Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Which is a play because <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, yeah, I think so." <laughs> but I I think MTV at this point is is kind of they're laughing at the situation. Of course, they're also you know they're just frothing at at everything that's happening with bringing the the two seasons kind of together. Mm -hmm. And so everyone's asked, everyone's asking each other, you know, they're having everyone talk about how random it is. And then they even brought it to the two of them, which is so funny. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Oh, man. Funny. All right. Well, there it is. That is episode 14 for you guys. The 
end of the beginning. What? Alex. <laughs> Kristen. I don't understand. Spelled it out for her. The end of one chapter, the beginning of the next. Um, really great having Jessica on. Yeah. Uh, next week, we've got episode 15. Which I saw, I saw you kiss him, Jessica. This is a that's a big episode oh, for you, by the way. It's oh, a good thing you're not on that one. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll defend you. In if my I defense, can. I was super hammered. There you go. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I know. We were. I think everyone knew. Yeah, we all were. <laughs> the amount of times that. And, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, I was gonna say we can circle back to my non-confrontation. What? What are you talking I about? I didn't do anything. Oh, uh, I know. We had just kids. We would lie through our teeth, and you know, to avoid oh, confrontation, yeah. right? Yeah anything oh man yeah i mean um that's yeah that's 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 a big episode so we'll... yeah well it's a good thing everyone got to hear you now and re-fall in love with you and then you know hopefully yeah. it'll soften next week you'll be good <laughs> yeah i can't wait to listen <laughs> all right jessica we love you thank you so much for coming on thank you guys